every time John Rahm hits the golf ball, a natural question pops to mind. How does he hit the ball so far with such a short backswing? The answer is because his golf swing is a move that has been specifically and expertly tailored to Rahm's unique body. It may look different, but it's the perfect golf swing for him. Let's break down why. I dare say there's nobody who's done more for the swing your swing movement in recent years than John Rahm. It's become mainstream thanks to Rahm's help, but it wasn't always easy. Growing up, Rahm says people were constantly trying to convince him to change his golf swing, to make it look more conventional and normal. They had one swing method, right, which is how can we make you have a perfect looking swing because that's supposed to be better. Right, um, and I remember going to this academy first day. They don't care how you're playing, how you're hitting it, what you're doing. They take a video with the six iron down the line, down the front, driver down the line, on the front, and they tell you this is what you need to do to have a perfect lane to a parallel shot, perfect numbers, perfect theoretical swing, without caring if you can or can't do. It. Now for two years, I fought with coach saying I am not doing that. You teach me how to hit a draw or a fade with what I have, and thank God I stayed that stubborn. Thank God is right, because if he didn't, it's hard to believe that John Rahm would be the golfer that we know him as today. Rahm has spoken openly in the past about being born with a club right foot. His right leg is actually slightly shorter than his left leg. This severely limits his lower ankle mobility, which in turn restricts how much he can turn into his trail hip on the backswing. Rahm's coach, Golf Digest Top 50 teacher Dave Phillips, who also co-founded the Titleist Performance Institute, said that if Rahm tried to turn into his right leg too much, he would end up coming out of his posture and over time would probably end up injured. It's why we see a young Rahm as a junior golfer standing straight up like a beanpole at the top of his backswing. But over time, Ram started to realize what he can do and what he can't do physically. And then he started to build a swing around both. He may not be able to turn his hips as much as others, but what he could do was bow his lead wrist. That in many ways is his golf swing superpower, says coach Dave Phillips. His lead wrist has gotten more and more bowed over the years, which he matches up with a traditionally weaker lead hand grip that's more in his palm. Loading his lead wrist like this helps Rahm's already big, strong upper body pull the club down really forcefully on the downswing. It's a bit like a lifter pulling a huge amount of weight in a short amount of time. You simply don't need that bigger windup when you've got as much brute upper body strength as John Rahm. And finally, Rahm's backswing may be short, but it's also really fast. This is important because it creates what biomechanists call a counter movement, a bit like pulling a slingshot back before then releasing it forward, or squatting down before jumping up. A faster backswing puts more club head speed into the system overall. Simply put, a faster backswing creates a faster downswing. Put all these things together and you get John Rahm a golf swing built around maximizing his strengths and one that is uniquely his own.